Hi guys. So, the horse with contact paper has dried. And it actually made a nice little seal. So I'm pretty super stoked about this. <laughs> so, I'm going to do the pour. Let that dry and then peel it off. So, a few steps, but you know what? I'm sure it's worth it. And um, I've got the ocean colors mixed up here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour them on. I'll put that one on after. <laughs> okay, horsey. Some gray in there. <laughs> Just use my fingers to get the sides wet so that the paint will go over nice. Okay, this should be fun. <laughs> I'm going to try and make it like a horsey wave here. So, I think I'm going to put a little bit more dark down here. Okay. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> I'm going to make the dark peel off the side there. So I don't want the fractal to come more over. I'm going to put a little white over here. Maybe a little bit more up there. <laughs> okay, let's keep playing. <laughs> that looks super cool. I'm going to put a bit of gray here. And a little bit more in there.
Ooh, I'm liking this. <laughs> it's looking pretty cool. Even though I can't remember where the horse is. I can see the edges. I'm thinking horsey head's here somewhere. His foot's there. But I really like that. I'm going to pull a little bit more into the dark here. Let's get the right angle. It looks like a chaotic water mess. <laughs> but I think it's going to look pretty cool. So I think I'm going to, well, maybe, I know, I'm bad. <laughs> Just right here. Lightly. kind of like it. I think once I peel, because this will all be against the horse edge. Like, I know his leg is somewhere in there. <laughs> I think it'll be pretty cool. The crashing wave. I like it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to do a little torching. I think that looks super cool. Those cells are really pretty. I'm super excited about this contact paper with uh, what I with the edges that uh, so hopefully it'll get a sharp edge. And I'm not sure what I'll paint this. Maybe a gray, a bluey gray. Either way, it's looking really pretty. <laughs> I'm excited. Another ocean horse, but hopefully this one will work out because the last one I did with the peelable pry or the, the um, packing tape ripped apart <laughs> and I couldn't save it. Okay, so um, it's starting to dry, but it didn't really work. The contact paper still ended up bubbling up. Um, and the paint still leaked under, <laughs> which sucks. Um, I had put that varnish on and yeah, it just seems it didn't really hold. Maybe it's because the paint was too thick. I was really hoping, but I'm going to peel it off anyways. Um, it's not totally dry, but I mean, it's already leaked under. So up here it's giving a really sharp edge. That's where you can see the paint leaked under. Uh, here's another spot. <laughs> so yeah. So for the most part it gives a super clean edge, 
Um, I think maybe the paint was just too thick, and then it definitely leaked. But it's still wet, so what I'm going to try and do is just brush that down to maybe make it flat. So I'm going to grab a paintbrush. And see if I can't take off the paint so that it doesn't create a lip or anything. See, this one's already started to dry with a bump on it, so I might have to sand that down. Okay, so kind of salvageable. <laughs> um, right here where it's thin, it made a nice clean edge, but where it's thicker, it definitely lifted, still lifted off and uh, bled under. But I think I could totally save it. Because I do love this one. It's got really pretty cells, and I love how the looks like it's all coming over. So I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna have to fix up a bit, paint this portion, and yeah. I think just um, it would have to be thinner paint to make it really work good. So. We'll see how, <laughs> if I sand this down a little bit, I think we can salvage it. I'm just trying to make it flat. I'm not worried about getting the blue on here because I'll be painting this part. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Hi hey guys, so okay, so the horsey is pretty much dry. Um, I sanded down the bumpy areas, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I'm going to paint this part. Uh, normally, I was just taking paint and I'm brushing it. This time, I actually mixed up the paint with some flow trawl. I'm still gonna have to brush in and along the horse but hopefully I'll get a more even surface with the paint by adding the flow trawl. So what I'm gonna do is just probably pour some on <laughs> and paint use it to get in and around the horse so there is an edge that's created by the silhouette so I kinda just use that and I put the paint up against that edge So, I can see that by adding the flow trail, it makes it super thin when I brush it, <laughs> but we'll just keep working with it. I might have to do a few layers. Uh, I do have a smaller brush for the little areas, like in by the ears. So I think next time I would just stick to the paint um, because adding the flow trail makes it super thin. And even though I thought I could push the paint up against here, it's not really 
it's not working super great. <laughs> Let's see about here, like if I just add... Yeah, because when you just paint with paint and no flow troll, it's a lot thicker and covers a lot better because you can see here it's pretty thin. It doesn't really work I'm trying to push it up against there. So I think I'm just going to paint it and then do another coat with just paint and no, no full trowel. Okay, well, <laughs> basically I just kind of go up against the edge, um, usually when I'm painting, and I just kind of follow along the edge and then I pull away like this, um, and yeah, but this, adding the, f I usually just use straight paint which works pretty good, you just have to do a couple layers. Um, but by using the flow draws, you can see it's made it super thin. And even though I could probably like tilt this around, trying to get into the detailed areas makes it kind of hard. Um, So, I will just paint this on and uh, let it dry and then I'll probably just use straight paint instead to finish it. But that's just kind of how I um, paint the other side. For those of you that were wondering, is I just kind of go along the edge there and freehand paint it. So I'm just going to even this out. <laughs> I think I'll even put some of this back. So what I had done is just mix some silver and cobalt blue, which made a very pretty color, but I shouldn't have mixed the flow troll in it. <laughs> well, I got to try it, give it a try, right? I could still use this paint. And then I usually just, from where I did the edge, what I'll do is I'll pull paint away from the silhouette, like so, so all the paint brush marks are in the same direction. Kind of like so. See where the horse is. Um, I'd suggest using just straight paint. <laughs> and I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna just paint it with straight paint after. Okay, so I let it dry. Um, you can see it's super shiny, but still has major brush strokes because it was super thin. Um, so this is just some paint I mixed up straight, which was the cobalt blue and silver. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint over the other stuff with the straight paint, which is thicker and is just going to cover better. And I just basically do the same thing is um, when I get in and around close in here, I just kind of freehand paint up against the silhouette. And there's still a lip, so it's not, it makes it a little easier to freehand paint up against the horse. And I basically just try and make sure that um, I take the brush strokes like from here. I'll just take them all like in the same direction away from the horse. So. pretty cool. So I might do one more coat once this one dries, but other than that, looking a lot better. I like it. So that's basically just how I do the other side. I just freehand up against. There's a nice little lip. Um, I'd suggest using straight paint instead of the flow draw that didn't work out too good um and yeah so coming along i might do one more coat just because it's a little thin in here and but other than that it's looking pretty good so i just want to thank you guys for subscribing liking and commenting and i try to get everybody's comments and stuff um if i miss you i'm sorry it's just there's been a lot of them coming in lately and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks so much.